Right now, the busiest border crossing in the Western Hemisphere looks like this, and it's shut down. All of the lanes heading into Mexico are closed at the San Ysidro Port of Entry. This is part of a 57 hour closure. It's pretty unprecedented. It goes through Monday uh, at noon. Attenders reported Matt Boone talked to people who have to deal with it. It was a surprise that there weren't many people. The busiest border crossing in the hemisphere reduced to rubble. We were um, thinking about going in car, but then we decided just to cross in the Ped West pedestrian. Natalia Rivera Lugo traveled to the U.S. this morning. So we arrived at 7 a.m. and there was no nobody at the Ped West, so it was easy, very easy. To get back to the border, she took the trolley. The trolleys are very crowded. But security guards tell us it was not much busier than a normal day. But the closure caught some people off guard. I had VIP for you two and had a great night and jumped across today, not realizing of the road closure. Andy Vertal was in town from the northwest, heading to Tijuana to get some dental work. He didn't know about the closure until he saw the signs on the freeway. It was in sync with texts friends had just sent me about the closure. So with that occurring, I'm going, I shall not be defeated. <laughs> he ended up parking and walking. It was a breeze. But Lugo points out the lack of traffic is causing some Mexican businesses to take a hit this weekend. In Mexico, they want tourists, especially American tourists, to come to Tijuana. So this is like not so good for tourists, and a lot of people have complained about that. Vertal says he's planning to come back on Tuesday, even with the construction over, he says he'll be better prepared. I may drive through, but this has been so easy. May just walk it. Matt Boone, 10 News. The plan is to double the number of lanes heading into Mexico. While the freeways will reopen on Monday, the entire project won't be done until 2019.